The first thing we need to do is check our microphone settings. Go over to microphone, a little picture of the microphone there, and make sure you've selected whichever microphone you've plugged into your tablet. Mine's called the Samson Go Mic. Yours will say external microphone or something like that. Make sure your speakers are set so that they work. And then we want to set our audio level. If it's too loud, we get something like this and it'll be distorted. Testing one, two, three, four, testing. And it sounds something like this. Testing one, two, three, four, testing. So it is distorted. We don't want to use something that's distorted. So let's try again. I'm going to X out of this track right here. For my microphone, I have to set it to next to nothing. For yours, I would start with it in the middle. And if you get too much blue to show up, then you make it go down. If it's not enough blue showing up, you make it go up. So let's set mine right here. And let's try. Test one, two, three, four, testing. That looks good. Test one, two, three, four, testing. All right, great. So I've got my microphone and my speaker volume set. Microphone volume here, speaker volume there. Next, I'm going to show you how to make a click track, which is like a metronome. I go to the Generate menu. I go to Click Track. I'm going to make mine a little bit slower. And I say OK. And it shows me what's going to sound like a metronome, but I can also see it while it's happening. OK. Now, the click track is only going to be used when you have headphones plugged in. So I'm going to plug in headphones, I'm going to get my instrument, and I'm going to try to play the first track along with this. So let me get my headphones put on. I can follow along visually. And here we go. stop. Now what you should have just heard was just this track right here. Let's hear what that sounds like. I'll make another video to show you more what to do after you are done laying down your first track.